Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99. How you doing? So for some of you, this may be redundant that follow me, but I feel like I need to say it because um, more and more people are subscribing to my channel. So when I started uh, doing videos August 14th or 17th of 2017, I said from the get-go that I was always interested in articles or news pieces that linked the banking system with cryptocurrencies because I've always thought that that was fascinating even though the sentiment, I don't know what the sentiment is now, but back then it was like, no, we don't want cryptos involved in, you know, the banking industry or the financial industry, yada, 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 and again, there's a lot of things I don't know about the ins and outs of the financial system, but I'm not saying blockchain is a perfect fit in the banking industry, but I'm, I'm not sure if there's any way to get around it, and I'm not anti-bank. So, I'd like to do articles that link banks and cryptos, bank and blockchain, you get the point. So, this was on newsbtc.com, I'll put it the link below. And Bitcoin and cryptos are going to solve, S-O-L-V-E, are going to solve what's going now in Hong Kong, India, and I'm sure other parts of the world that this guy's not familiar with. But the Hong Kong ATMs are out of cash. Now, granted, maybe that's not all of them, but a large majority are out of cash and there's some panic, or a lot of panic, in India on some bank runs. So, this article starts off by saying, as the violence in Hong Kong, Hong Kong continues to grip the island state, it is the innocent that usually suffer first. Video leaks over social media recently showed intensifying attacks from both sides as the situation sparks out of control. I listen to one, two, three news pieces every night on China and Hong Kong. So again, this link will be below. People are waiting in lines, long lines for the ATM. And not this article, but I read, was it last night, an article that on a lot of these ATMs in Hong Kong where you could, the minimum withdrawal in U.S. dollars was like $1,500. They decreased that to the equivalent of $38 or $35 a day. Huge decrease. They're running out of cash. So Carrie Lam, if you don't know who Carrie Lam is, Googler. She is um, not the president of Hong Kong, but um, not ambassador. But she's on the news a lot about. Um, she's like the spokesperson for Hong Kong. I don't know that much about it. I don't want to get too far off the subject, but Carrie, it's a woman, Carrie Lam. And then in India, I saw some chatter on uh, Twitter yesterday, like there's, in India, run on banks. And I'm like, no, man, like I know some people over there. And again, this, this article, which I'll put in the description below, India is also suffering its worst woes, which are primarily economical. According to reports of Reserve Bank of India, Right, Reserve Bank of India slashed its year growth forecast by nearly a full percentage point on Friday. Rate cuts have also occurred as the economy slows and concern grows among its billion plus population. And actually, this was a tweet October 1st from Reserve Bank of India. 
There are rumors in some locations about certain banks, including cooperative banks, resulting in anxiety among depositors. RBI, Reserve Bank of India, would like to assure the general public that Indian banking system is safe and stable and there's no need to panic on the basis basis of such rumors. Well, it's not rumors. There have been run runs on the bank in India. How do I know this? I'm a unofficial official ambassador for Zenfin, XIN, FIN, a lot of the um what do you call it? Leadership team. I was I was going to say managers. Leadership team are in and around India, and this is no joke. Anyhow, take a look at this article. Let me know what you think. But Hong Kong ATMs out of cash, and Indian banks are in trouble. Anyhow, Crypto Mentor ninety nine. Love y'all. See you later. Bye bye.